welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with Boost, Spirit. Our viewer is trying to parse a PDDL file and is facing difficulties with parsing preconditions into a struct, particularly with recursion and understanding the Boost manual. Let's dive into the specifics of their question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the structure of the PDDL precondition we want to parse. The precondition consists of a logical expression that can include predicates and negations. Next, we need to define our parsing rules using Boost Spirit. The first step is to ensure that our rules correctly capture the structure of the predicates and literals. Now, let's address the compilation error you're encountering. The error suggests that the constructor for the, the literal struct is not matching the expected types we need to ensure that the attributes in the struct are correctly defined. To fix the issue, we can modify the literal struct to include a constructor that accepts a vector of literals. This will allow Boost Spirit to correctly instantiate the literal objects during parsing. Finally, Ensure that your pred list rule is correctly defined to handle multiple literals. You can use the star operator to allow for zero or more literals within the AND expression. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this discussion, the user highlights an issue with parsing preconditions and recursion using Boost Spirit. They explain that while one rule compiles correctly, another fails due to mismatched attribute types. The user suggests simplifying the grammar to better reflect the desired abstract syntax tree, or AST. They propose a new structure for parsing scheme-like function applications. They provide a simplified grammar that accurately parses preconditions, demonstrating how to represent variant data types and achieve recursion in the AST. Finally, the user emphasizes the importance of validating the AST against specifications and provides a complete code listing for reference. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.